All right, you found the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It is Tuesday evening, and we've only got a handful of days left in the month of September, but we have a real October feel to the air early this week. But how about August in October coming our way next week? A lot of changes coming our way over the next 7 to 10 days. But today, definitely cooler than the average. 64 is more typical of mid-October rather than the tail end of September. Our average high still is around 70 at this time of the year. But not a big temperature range today. It was a mild night last night. The blanket of clouds traps in warmth at night and doesn't allow it to cool off, of course. 57 are low last night, and we'll be in that same neighborhood tonight into tomorrow morning as we continue to be underneath a blanket of clouds. No precipitation for the time being locally. There's been some showers, even some thunderstorms off to our west this afternoon in places like Indianapolis and Fort Wayne, Chicago. This upper low, which is kind of centered right out here, uh, is coming east slowly, and the weather they're having out here today is kind of what we can expect on Thursday. Still kind of an in-between day on Wednesday, but then Thursday is when that upper low will push overhead. Before we get back to our weather, since, you know, it's a pretty quiet forecast for the most part for the next several days, let's talk a little bit about uh, some worldwide weather news here. And, of course, you may have heard uh, a lot about El Nino of late El Nino is the opposite phase that, than, that we've been in over the last few years. We had La Nina in the Pacific Ocean over the last three years, but it was a quick flip to El Nino, and actually pretty strong El Nino this year. And of course, this is the zone right here we look at. This is your El, Ni El, 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 El Nino, easy for me to say, right here with the warmest waters in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. Now, you know, we did a story during the 5 o'clock news tonight uh, from, you know, a national correspondent who wasn't a meteorologist, and, you know, he basically did the old broad brush uh, El Nino means this thing. Um, not El all El Ninos are alike. Uh, there's different flavors. We've had El Nino winters here that have been cold and snowy, like the winter of 2009-2010, also 2002-2003. El Nino is that winter, and those were cold and snowy winters for us locally. It matters how strong the El Nino is. It also matters where the El Nino is kind of centered, where the warmest water is. If the warmest water compared to average is here, like it is now, as opposed to out here, that's important. If the warmer water centers itself out here, that tends to lead to more possibilities of, of cold and snow in our part of the country come winter time. Right now it's centered in the eastern Pacific Ocean. We also have the oceans just on fire in so many places, including out here in the Western Pacific, that's important. Also, we're going to keep an eye on the Indian Ocean as we head towards the winter forecast. Uh, we have all this cold water here, warm water out here. That's what we call a positive Indian Ocean dipole. That's important, believe it or not. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we're going to look at, not just El Nino. And again, the, the, the strength and the location of El Nino is important. And just a reminder, in case you haven't uh, paid a lot of attention to this uh, video of late and you haven't tuned in for our winter forecast in recent years, we're about a month or so away from our annual winter forecast for our area, usually right at the end of October or early November. Of course, the story in recent winters has been the warmth, including, of course, last year, 5.7 degrees warmer than average last winter. It was one of the warmest winters on record. It was one of the most snow-free winters on record, uh, way, way below average in the snow department, of course, last winter. Now, with the exception of the winter of 2017-2018, which was just a shade cooler than average, we've had warm winters now since uh, the last strong El Nino, which was in 2015-2016. Despite La Nina, over the last few years, we've had very balmy winters. All right, back here in the near term, uh, Wednesday could start with a patch of drizzle or some sprinkles around. I do think, though, that the sky will try to brighten some in the afternoon. Check out uh, the the, the uh, model satellite here, second half of the day, especially in western PA, it may turn out to be a pretty good looking afternoon. But that's just kind of a little slice of nice because the clouds are going to roll back in tomorrow night. Shower chances increase later on tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And again, our weather Thursday will kind of resemble Chicago's weather today. Not a washout, but showers here and there right into Thursday night and probably morning and midday on Friday. Do think the showers will try to push out of here in plenty of time for high school football Friday evening. Rainfall amounts will be pretty modest here locally next 72 hours, probably on the order of a tenth to two tenths of, a, of an inch or so, maybe a third of an inch, uh, with a better chance of a half an inch or so once you're closer to I-71 in central Ohio and especially down into southwest Ohio. So yeah, not much in the rain gauge over the next few days, and it's still going to end up as one of the driest Septembers on record. Speaking of September, well, it's going to end this weekend, and October arrives in hello August pattern. Uh, here we go. 
The jet stream by Sunday, big, deep trough along the west coast. I mean, this is a chilly-looking pattern. There's going to be snow in the higher, higher elevations of the Rocky Mountains from late this weekend through early next week. But when there's a big, deep trough or a cutoff low-pressure system along the west coast, that usually means there's a ridge downstream. And, yeah, sure enough, look at this big bulge in the jet stream. Uh, by Sunday and early next week. What a forecast we have for the weekend. Early next week, wall-to-wall -wall sun and temperatures approaching, if not exceeding, 80 degrees for a handful of days. Now, records are probably out of reach. I looked at the daily records for the first half of next week. They're mostly in the middle and upper 80s. But, hey, 14, 15 above average, when you're advertised about 67, 68, that's still 81, 82, 83 degrees. That is really a treat for early October. Last time we had an early October warm spell like this was in 2019. Uh, we had uh, some record warmth during that stretch in early October of 2019. Again, I kind of doubt we're in that territory this time, but still, this is going to be really, really nice. Early next week, don't put away those golf clubs just yet. Don't put away the patio furniture yet. Don't shut things down for the winter uh, because, uh, yeah, it's going to be shorts weather for a handful of days from the weekend through the first half of next week. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. I always appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on all the socials, and I'll see you right back here on Wednesday.